Hey folks, Nass here. Another episode of Medieval Dynasty for you. In this episode, we're going to be covering wood demand. What is wood demand? Wood demand is the amount of wood your villagers require for use per hour. So if you hit your map and go to management, you can see your wood demand right here. Uh, so just below the reputation and to the left, mine is currently 10.1 an hour. Your villagers will use wood uh, in the following order. So they're gonna use firewood first if you have it on hand. Then they're gonna use sticks and then logs and then eventually planks. Uh, so if they run out of all your sticks and then they run out of all your logs, then they're gonna also burn up your planks, trying to meet their wood demand. The wood demand will also be different for each season. For example, your wood demand will be at its lowest, uh, typically during the uh, spring or summer months, and then obviously be at its highest during the colder winter months. Now, how do you get wood? Very simple question to answer. You get wood by get, by either the player or the villager chopping down trees to get logs. That is the plain and simple version of how to get wood. Now, the logs can be crafted into firewood, which is what you're going to want to end up doing. Uh, and you can either do it in the player crafting wheel. So if we hit Q and go to the crafting wheel, go to hand crafting and then swing all the way around to firewood, you can see it's right there in your crafting wheel. You can craft the firewood. Otherwise, you're gonna have your villagers do it in the woodshed. Sticks can be gathered by chopping up the felled trees. So when you chop down a tree and you start to chop it up into logs, you actually gather sticks from that tree at that time. You can also pick them up off the ground or from picking them off of the little twiggy bushes that stick up a little bit. You actually get uh, anywhere between one and three sticks from the twig bushes. Uh, when you're picking them up off the ground, you only get one stick at a time. How much wood do you get? So for sticks, like I just mentioned, if you're picking the sticks up off the ground, you get one stick at a time. Uh, if you're picking them off of the little bushes, you can get anywhere between one and three. For the logs, uh, each type of tree will provide you a different amount of logs when chopping them down. Uh, if you remove the stump from any of these trees, you'll get one extra log. However, the tree will not grow back if you remove the stump. By leaving the stump in the ground, the tree will regrow in two years time. So as long as the tree is not in the way of any of your buildings or crops or fences or anything like that, then I suggest leaving the stump and allowing the tree to grow back in two years. Um, unless it's just in the way of whatever you're planning to build or you don't want it in your view, uh, seeing your lake or whatever outside your window or anything like that. Uh, but I'll put on the screen there should be a list of the trees. So the birch tree is two logs is what you get. Uh, those little white trees, the pine trees give you three logs. The maple tree gives you four logs. Uh, and again, if you remove the stump, you get an extra log added onto that. So in order to chop down the trees, you're gonna need an ax. Uh, and how long will your ax last? Well, there is a durability rating for every tool and weapon in the game. Uh, so each type of ax has a different durability rating and I'll put those up on the screen now for you to see. Um, when the player is using the ax or any weapon for that matter or tool, you're gonna have the durability circle down in the bottom right of the screen. So like I'm holding the hammer, iron hammer right now, you see the little circle, it's got a quarter of it is lit in white. That's how much durability is left on that particular tool. If we open up your inventory and take a look at, I'm gonna show the iron ax right now because we're at 100%, but you can see that my iron ax down here in the bottom left, it has a durability rating of 500. And like I had shown on the screen, there are other durability ratings for each of the types of axes. So like your stone ax is 100 uh, hit points, uh, your copper ax is 200 hit points, the bronze ax is 350 hit points, uh, and again, the iron ax is 500 hit points. Knowing these values is gonna help you determine how many axes you need to have on hand 
per hour or per day for your villagers to be producing logs and firewood for you uh, because they will use up the durability on these axes. So if we open up our management tab and then we can go to the woodshed. So we'll click on the woodshed here and we can go right here. You can see the condition of the woodshed. You can see the capacity of the storage for the woodshed. Now granted, I don't have anything in it currently. You can see the, how much tax the woodshed is costing you. The profession is lumberjack. Uh, it shows you the skill and the icon for the extraction skill. So if you are gathering, or excuse me, recruiting a villager for this particular position, you know that you need to be looking for the extraction icon above the new recruit's head, and the value needs to be as high as possible. And I don't think that you can get uh, I don't think you can recruit a villager with a skill level higher than three. But then also you can see the tool that they're using, that they currently have the, the stone axe with 100 hit points uh, available on that stone axe. And then of course you have a status rating for the woodshed. Now granted there is no status rating because the shed's not damaged or there's no workers or anything like that. But this is where you can see how much hit points are left on the axe that your villagers are current, currently using and that particular villager. And you can change that according to whoever you're highlighting. You can also go in and click the little assignments tab, which is this hammer with the circle above it. And you can go in and see, so we've got log highlighted right here. And if you go to the bottom, it costs five hit points per log. You see that right there, it produces one log at five hit points per log. So that stone ax is going to produce 20 logs before it breaks and has to be replaced. So this is gonna help you determine how many axes you're going to need for those villagers to do their job. Now, if you go down here to firewood, you can see firewood, it requires one log to produce four firewood, but it only uses one hit point on the ax. So producing firewood is going to, the ax is gonna last longer than if you're chopping down trees. And then obviously if you're doing planks as well, that's one hit point for the planks, but we're not talking about planks right, right now. Sticks don't require any axes because they can just, they get them when chopping down the trees or picking them up off the ground. Now, how to manage your wood demand. So if you remember, we went back into, we'll go to the management tab right up here. You can see our wood demand is at 10.1. To manage your wood demand, you need to open your management tab, click the tab for the extraction, which we did already. And then you can click your woodshed, which is there. And this is where you're going to be managing your wood demand. So that 10.1 that is what mine is. Yours is gonna be different probably. So if we have a wood demand of 10.1, I need to make sure that I have enough firewood coming in to at least match the use. So here we're gonna to have to start doing a little bit of math. So I know my head hurts when I do math, so <laughs> I'll do the best I can here. So I need to, so what I'm gonna to need to do is multiply the 10.1 wood demand by 24 hours in a day, because obviously there's 24 hours in a day. So we need to know how much wood we need to produce per day. So if we multiply my 10.1 wood demand by the 24 hours in a day, we get 242.4 uh, wood that we need to produce in a day's time to be able to match that with the firewood production, to be able to have my villagers using only firewood because that's what I want to do is I want to maintain the firewood production for my villagers to use as their wood demand. I don't want them dipping into my logs or my sticks or my planks because I use those for tools and other stuff. So with the 242.4, this is how much firewood we need to be producing to meet the daily wood demand. We need these values because our workers only work for 10 hours each day. They don't work 24 hours a day. There's still 14, out, 14 more hours that the villagers are not working. 
Now we need to figure out how much more wood our workers need to produce in their 10 hour workday to meet the remaining 14 hours of wood demand. So now we need to divide that 242.4 firewood by four. So this is because you get four firewood right here. You get four firewood each time it's produced. So we need to divide the 242.4 firewood by four and we get 60.6. Now the 60.6, this is how many times they need to produce firewood in a day's time. But they're not producing it in a 24 hour period, they're producing it in a 10 hour period. So now we need to divide that 60.6 by the 10 hour workday and we get 6.06 .06 an hour. So we need to be producing firewood at 6.06. .06. Well, we can't produce it at 6.06. .06. So I have to set mine at 6.3 an hour because if I lower that, it goes to 5.4 and we're going to run out of firewood and then they're going to start dipping into my sticks and then my logs and then my planks until they meet that daily demand. So I have to set my firewood at 6.3. So we kind of have to round up a little bit. So now we have our daily firewood set. This is how they're going to, this is how they're going to produce 6.3 firewood an hour for 10 hours. That's going to produce enough firewood for me to meet the demand through the day. So now that we have the firewood production set, we need to make sure that there's enough logs coming in to meet the needs of the firewood production. So what I need to do, and this is the easy part, there's really no big math to do here. All you have to do is make sure that your log per hour is matching this 6.3 an hour, at least matching the 6.3. Now, in my case, I have to set it at 7.2 because if I lower this by one click, it goes to 5.4, which means that I am not producing enough logs to meet this demand for the firewood. So I need to be producing at least the 7.2 so I have enough wood on hand, excuse me, enough logs on hand to be able to produce the firewood that's needed for the wood demand of my villagers. And that, in a nutshell, is how you maintain your wood demand in your village. Uh, so make sure that you keep an eye on your axes. Now there's gonna be math and stuff involved on the axes and that may end up being another video and stuff on how many axes or tools to have for different workshops and things like that. But because of the durability on the axes, you can easily figure out how many axes you need to have on hand for that 10 hour workday. Uh, and then if you want, you can craft enough axes for that entire season because your wood demand is not gonna change until the next season. So then each season you'll have to come back and you'll have to adjust your wood demand for that season. And again, you'll have to make sure that you have enough axes on hand to maintain the tools needed for that season. Alrighty folks. And that is how you manage your wood demand of your villagers. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to click that like button. It helps put this video out in front of other people like yourself that may enjoy this or need this information as well. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It definitely helps the channel out quite a bit. And we will see you folks in the next one. You take care and happy hunting.